Number five then from paper one of the 2023 20, advanced higher maths. A big nine mark question here for find the particular solution to the second order differential equation. Right, well, it's got this polynomial over here for the particular integral. Might look quite big and long, but uh, there's no problem with polynomials. They're just all mouth. At the first sign of trouble, they just disappear fairly quickly. Well, first of all, auxiliary equation. That'll be m squared minus 4m minus 5 equals 0. So that's just staring you in the face then, isn't it? 1 and 5 minus the 5 plus the 1. m is negative 1. m is 5. So that means you've got y equals any number of, I'll put this one first, e to the power 5x plus any number of e to the negative 1, negative x. So that's your complementary function. Right, now what about the particular integral? <coughs> I'll just do it over here because I'll need tons of room. Well, if differentiating this is to produce a polynomial, then you're just going to start with 1. I've used a and b up, so I'll go for c. So cx squared plus dx plus e. Now start differentiating it. I'm just going to put dashed. So y dashed is going to be, so that goes to 2cx, and that's just d. And then y double dashed is just 2c. And any more, and there'll be no trace left of it. Now, you need to feed this back into this to see exactly what c, d, and e are. But I'm not going to write it all out. I'm just going to take a note. How many do I need? Of the y, I need minus 5 of them. Of the y dashed, I need minus 4 of them. And this, I just need 1 of them. And then I'll just construct, I'll just compare the terms here. Like the x squared term should come to 10. What have I got for x squared? I've got c here, I've got minus 5 of them. So minus 5c should equal 10. Well, that means c is equal to negative 2. Right, now the x term, what makes up x? Well, I've got minus 5 of d here, minus, and then this one here is minus 8 c here, and that's all we've got for them, and that should equal 11. Now, I know what, I know what c is. That's a 16. So I've actually got minus 5d, I didn't want to come down here, minus 5d, but that'll be plus 16 equals 11. So minus 5d will equal minus 5, which means that d is going to equal 1. And then for the constant, didn't want to space use. Right, constant, that's the big one, really. Because for the constant, I'm going to have negative 5 of e minus 4 of d and just one of them, that's a 2c. So it's plus a 2c to make that negative 23. I'll just have to put it down again. Negative 5 of e, now I know them already, so that's minus 4 and that's another minus 4 should equal negative 23. So that's minus 8 will go across as plus 8, that's minus 15. Divide by negative, that means it's a 3. So A is 3. Can I work over this bit? So now I know I'm for a particular integral. So for the particular integral, I've got y is equal to, where were they all again? Lost place of them. Negative 2x squared plus x plus 3. Right, now putting it all together to get the general solution will just be these two parts. So the general solution is y equals a e to the 5x plus b e to the negative x minus 2x squared plus x plus 3. Now you can start popping in these initial conditions. When x is 0, so that goes, that goes. Y is 2. So 2 is equal to a e to the 0 plus b e to the 0, and I'll put them in, plus 3. So that gives me a little linear relationship between a and b. a and b comes to negative 1. Now I need to differentiate it. So it'll be 5a e to the 5x minus b e to the negative x and a minus, not that it matters because x is going to go, but it doesn't know that yet. 
minus 4x plus 1. They're putting in the values from here. What were they? 14 when x is 0. So that's 5a e to the 0 minus b e to the 0 plus 1. So that gives me another connection. 5a minus b comes to, take that one across, 13. So that was equation 1, that was equation 2. I might have just got away with that ploy. So I could put it down here. So doing 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 means you've got 6a. They disappear equals 12. So that means a is 2. And then putting that into, I'll just put it here, putting it into number 1 means that you've got 2 plus b equals negative 1. So b must equal negative 3. Now you just put it all together. So here you are for the particular solution. Y is equal to A is 2. 2e two e to the 5x minus 3. Minus 3e e to the negative x. And we've done that part already. Plus 3. Oh, got it all in one board. There it is.